up, man. You know how to do a grand entrance for your boy, man. It's K Power Performance, and this episode, I'm so happy to finally tell you guys that I bought Air Ride from Bag Riders. This is the Super Slam series from Airlift, and I'm super excited for you guys to come on this journey. If you want to bag your car, this will be the video for you. I'm not going to do a crazy tutorial, but I'm going to show you how they work, how they feel, give you my overall review, and we're finally going to make this thing low. Because you see that? That ain't low enough for your boy. Alright, so I'm super excited guys to finally get my car bagged. I've been static since I bought it. It is on True Heart Coilovers, but that ain't good enough for your boy P. And if it's your first time to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. You know what's your favorite YouTuber, the one that gets dislikes before they even watch the video. See, now that's some bullshit. Yeah, that guy. Well, I know y'all gonna be real mad now, ain't ya? Yeah. So I know it's a little extra with the confetti. I actually had that sitting around the house, but I thought it'd be so funny to start the intro like that. So this is what they look like. And I'm gonna have my boy Eddie actually do it because he just did Greg's car. I'll slide a little picture right here. And he did a phenomenal job on his. And he's gonna do it really, really cheap for me. So I figured that's what I would do. Here's the rear. And what I like about Airlift is they have dampeners right there. So you can just change to softness to stiff so I get to go hard and if you guys remember these these are the camera kits off the Acura Integra that I turbo that I ended up parting out and selling So I kept these camber kits because I knew for a fact that what was gonna happen is I was gonna end up having to buy these again. So my strut towers are cut in the inside and pretty much they're allowed to get a little bit of camber from doing that, but their stock control arms, the rear have eBay camber kits. I didn't put that in, it came like that. But whatever, I figured we'd keep them for a rainy day and I guess today is a rainy day. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Also got one more thing that I put inside my car that I think is awesome. I didn't video it, but oh, I'm so excited, guys. I'm so happy. And I just wanted to say before we get this video rocking and rolling that shout out to all the people that's been supporting me and holding me down and still watching my videos. I don't get the craziest views. I don't have the craziest amount of subscribers, but the people that do watch and you are watching at home, I really appreciate it. I thank you so much. If it wasn't for you, I would not be able to continue to do what I love, and that's making YouTube videos. Yeah, if you guys notice, got my hands on a nice, gnarly steering wheel with the quick release, and it's super sick. I love it, I'm super happy, and look at that. So with that being said, let's go. All right, so I'm here with my boy Eddie, the one that's gonna be installing them, and of course I forgot something that's like the most important thing besides the struts. I forgot the management. I left the whole box at the house, so now he's gonna do the struts, and then I guess I'm gonna have to get a ride to go get it and bring it back, but it's whatever. Shout out to the boy Greg for pick, also picking me up. We're engine back. Yeah, we're gonna do a full tuck. The engine harness is gone. We're gonna put a K-swap in this. Uh, it's gonna be a K24, K20, and we're gonna delete this intakes. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're riding with no intake, but the other one was getting on my nerves. I just ripped that thing off one day, just like, nah. But we good, we gonna get it going, man. I'm gonna let him do his thing, you know what I mean? We're just gonna, it's, the car's real low, so I gotta, he just cut some wood in half so we can, um, I can run, you know, drive up it and then, Guess Jack could have put the struts on and start from there. Then, I mean, you still got some stuff to do before it anyway. So by the time the management comes, you should be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah you should be all right. You can take your time anyway. I don't want you to rush anyway, so it's all good. Nah. I'm gonna really dry that forest before. It's the last time you guys gonna bro. see it. With that poopy fitment. I'm definitely excited. It's definitely gonna be popping. So I'm gonna end this right here, and we're gonna pick up tomorrow when I drop off the it's management. I'm gonna show you guys everything that he did. Say something before we end this bitch right here for the night. Yeah, I'm fucking hazmat. <laughs> they said that shit gonna be tight fit me, all right? Yeah, all my bros is on bags. Look at look at the fitment, cuz. Look at that, look at that fitment, homie. That's what we do, that's what we do. I ain't gonna be fending the lip, but we gonna be tucking her. We ain't fucking. Big bag shit. 
Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, so it's two days later and I'm about to go to Eddie's right now. The car is probably 90% done. He did the wood flooring, the air tank, the management, everything. So we're gonna go over it, I'm gonna show you guys. But the problem with these, uh, these struts, and I'm gonna be honest, what sucks about them is they're not adjustable. They do have dampeners, but like the True Hearts and D2, they have, uh, they have spindles on the bottom like coilovers, which allow you to adjust them. With these, they don't have it. So it's a little weird. I call it bag riders. They're willing to exchange it if I pay more money, but I'm gonna try to make these work. So the issue I'm having, which I will show you guys, is I can't really camber the front because I'm already hitting the spindle arm. So what we pretty much have to do, which is pretty hood, pretty ghetto, but you call it what it is, is we're gonna shave down and cut some of the spindle arm to make clearance so when I camber, I can actually air out. So I'm gonna show you guys all this and kind of let you see what we're going through and hopefully by the end of this video we'll get the air out and show you guys everything and then the next video i'm going to give you guys my honest opinion about the bags and everything so let's go for a ride all right so we here you waited this long on the video i thank you so let me show you what it looks like to be a monster truck now guys oh my god look at all i could put my fist in there that's how your boy needs to drive i'm sick of the low life i'm gonna sit like that and i'm gonna air my ish out so the only issue we have is the, the spindle arm is, is laying against the bag. Over time, it'll rub the bag. Right now, it'd be good for a while. Greg actually went for a while until he just blew a bag, yep. unfortunately. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to pull it off. We're going to shave it down just a little bit just to give it that clearance. And then I'm going to buy different camber kits because the camber kits are square. And they're hitting this and they're hitting the top hat, which is throwing it off. But we're going to air it out. And yeah, it's still a lot lower than what it was. Originally static, which is awesome. I will show you guys in the daytime. It's still progress. There's still, I think anybody knows by now, whenever you static a car crazy or you do bags, Greg, you can admit this, you never get it right the first time. It takes time. You have to practice. You have to keep adjusting. Keep you got to adjust the fitment. Yeah. yeah. If you don't put the time in getting the fitment. And, right. and I got a secret for you guys. I'm buying two piece wheels and I think I might jump to a 17 to get the better fitment clearance that I want. They're recommending it. So that's probably what I will do because the 16s seem like they're just, they're just not big enough. So, but if I do the 17s, I'm probably not going to go as wide. I'll probably keep it by nine. I probably won't do a wider version. Well, if of those it. are by nine, that's, I mean, they look yeah. good. So, so I'm probably just going to stay by nine and not do the 16 by nine and a half that I was going to do. But it's still all in the air. I'm going to change the camera kits. I think what I'm going to do is go with the OEMs because the thing is when I had the OEM ones, guys, it actually went through the hole. So I'd be able to air out perfect right now. Like I would literally be on the ground perfect so that's what we're going to do but right now this is this is the moment yeah and see i know it looks like crap guys but that the way the head is it fits through they do make aftermarket ones so what i'm thinking of doing is buying the same replica style but it still has a slider and then i would be able to do it just like that so big shout out to eddie i'm gonna get him to air it out so i can video it for you guys you know what i mean and yeah it's it's still a work in progress but we on air ride, baby. I guess do the front first. Let me get a let me get a good position. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna hold it up a little bit so you can tell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Way better. Way. Way better. And then he gonna air out the back now. I am getting a screechy noise back there. We think the strut might be a little too high. I'm not sure. I got to pull some camber out, but as you guys can see, that's way, way, way lower. Way lower than when we were on those coils. So, he did a great job. Big shout out to Eddie Raps. I'm going to put him in the description on this YouTube channel. Also, I'm going to shout him out on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at IMK Power Performance. Also, my boy, Mr. DC5. Yeah. You know what I mean? The Mr. Crazy Sudan Stretch guy. He's killing everybody in Delaware with the fitment. But, you know, us little Civics guys, we don't get the, we don't got the luxury of that TSX uh, wheel wells. But, we're going to make it work. Also, check out what my boy did for my trunk, man. This is, this is crazy. Oh, yeah, this is Eddie's car, too, if y'all don't know. Eddie on air as well. Yup. So, we all on air out here, man. But, look at the trunk, guys. Yeah. I don't know about you, but that looks beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, and it's it, it's real nice. It's tucked. You know what I mean? 
we're all back here, our boogie guys, so it looks great, you know what I mean? Especially, I would not have been able to do this. Looks really good. I'm really, really happy with how it looks. And he still ran everything nice. So one thing that he did note that we're going to do. So they gave us, uh, they gave us this, as you see, it's leaning, the panels. So I'm going to get the Viera, um, the Viera panel switch because they gave us four switches. So they wanted you to run individual lines to each strut, almost on some hydraulic crazy stuff so he was able to kind of finesse it for me just to make it run to the front and back he recommends the Viera I think I'm pronouncing it right Viera and what I'll do is I'll get that and then what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to mock it in there real nice and clean have it fit it have it straight not crooked like that and it'll look great and yeah it's gonna be awesome so I'm really excited guys I'm gonna definitely keep working on the car tonight show you everything and then at the end of this video i'll go air it out in front of y'all during the day and we'll go over that all right so here show me all right so we're driving it it feels great honestly it feels a lot better static i mean it feels a lot better than static <laughs> oh yeah it feels good i just scared of that arm we're having a clearance issue i could just go straight yeah where the spindle still touches since we're aired up we're good but uh pretty much the the spindle arm is is laying on the bag once i air down so we're gonna shave it down we're gonna show you guys real quick i'm gonna try and yeah it's good it rides great that's why airlift is the stuff you know why because it it does feel good i wish i would have went with the pro series though because the pro series was adjustable <laughs> that's why these ones suck so if you guys are going to get airlift don't go with the slam series unless you're doing like a real functional style, I would say, because you're going to you're going to run into this issue where you're not going to be able to do a lot. But I mean, it feels great. Oh, yeah. Look, we got the backup cam. Okay. Yeah. What you know, 95 with the backup cam. My mom's 2018. Don't got that. <laughs> oh, that's a little crazy, but definitely a work in progress we still got to button up some stuff it isn't it isn't complete yet but do a full turn full turn yeah like kind of like spin that bitch yeah see if it does it you might have just hit a rock and like so funny you know what i mean did it do it again nah it's not doing it just scaring me because of that arm now i'm like i want to shave it just in case we do do start rubbing it you know what i mean yeah all right we're we're getting there Let's see what the pull feels like Of course, it threw my alignment on, but it's good enough to drive. I mean, shit. But yeah, it feels good, guys. My boy Eddie Raps, y'all gotta check him out, man. He killed it, man. He, just, he he pretty much sponsored me on. He's pretty much sponsored me with this, man. Gave me a crazy, incredible deal, man. Big shots to him. We got a lot of videos coming soon. He got a really dope TL. His girl even has a real nice car too. So we got some crazy videos coming. We're gonna shave it down. I'm gonna show you guys and. Yeah, it feels it feels really good. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just scared about that that spindle arm, but other than that, I mean, I would probably not even get an alignment. If, I hate to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I got to I got to get different camber kits because these ones are too squared, man. They're just they're too squared. All right. Just like that, and I'm just gonna rock her in. And then you're gonna need to probably have uh, Eddie wrap it. Motion detected at your front door. Oh, that's nice. All right, hold on. That's just you should I hit the switch real quick. Yeah. All right, so pretty much chopping it down, and this is what I mean by you're gonna have to do this. Slice it down. Now, this isn't the correct bit you would use. You can use this though; it does work, and it is a 40 grit, so it actually does work, and it's metal, so it's actually doing pretty good, as you can see right here on how good the light is. But I'm slicing, and the idea is to file this down. This is steel. This is not gonna break on you. Don't be scared. 
file this down about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter inch to slide it because if you were to look under here, there's already a line from it laying on there and that's gonna pop my bag. And I just got the Gorilla Tape to protect it. But it's late, his, his girl probably going so I'm gonna try to chop down a little bit more and then I'm gonna come here tomorrow and me and him are gonna bang this out. Might buy some better bits, I don't know. This little guy might die on us, but that's where we at, just showing you guys that you're most likely gonna have to shave down your spindle arm. So, yeah. All right, so it's the next day. I'm shaving down the spindle arm, and for some reason, my memory card got corrupted on my Sony, so can't use that, so sorry. Hopefully you guys can see good. Yeah, okay, cool. So I just wanna show you real quick what it's looking like now, uh, so you guys can see that. That's how, what you pretty much wanna do. You wanna smooth it and out, It'll help so when it does hit on the, when it does rub on the bag, it's not going to scratch it up as much because if you see the rough side of this material, it's definitely rough. So I'm gonna sand it down, then I'm gonna paint on it just to make it so it doesn't rust. It stays like this. I'm gonna sand it down and this one should be pretty much done. Sorry I had to use the iPhone video, but unfortunately my Sony's being a jerk and gotta get it done. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the lock nuts off and then you're gonna screw it down, but where the lock nut is, it's gonna be like a little gap. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna cut it off, and then this will sit flush with this, and then it'll be maxed out, both will be maxed out as much as you can. And this is what we were using, a floppy disk. This is what you guys need, metal one, well, four metal, so you can sand it down on an angle grinder. And I think that's it, man. So I'm gonna sand it down, and then we'll get home, and when I get home, I'll air it out and show you guys.